So friends, if you are using Indus Mobile application, then you must know that Indus Mobile application will not be available after 31st of March 2025. So instead of using Indus Mobile application, you can start using Indus and Indie app, which is available on Play Store and App Store. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can log in or re-register in Indus and Indie app. Uh, if you have your account in Indescent Bank. Now, without wasting any time, we are going to start the video. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So the first thing you have to do is just simply open Play Store or App Store in your phone and just download Indescent Indie application. This is the icon of that app. Once you download the application, just simply select open option. Now, keep one thing in mind that it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or Android phone, the process is going to be same. Now, once you open the application, if it is asking for permission, it depends on you if you want to give or not. Uh, for notification, I don't want it. So I'm going to select don't uh, allow for now. I don't want the application to track my activities. So I'm going to select uh, ask not to track. You can uh, choose whichever option you want. Now, once you get to this particular page, just simply select start now option, uh, select agree option. And now enter the registered mobile number over here. And after entering the number, just simply select submit option. Now you can see I have entered the mobile number. Make sure you accept these terms and conditions. Let's select submit option. You will get a pop-up screen like this. Again, it is asking me for permission and SMS. So this time there is no other option. Select allow. Now once the validation is complete through SMS, all you have to do is if you get this kind of screen, select set MPIN option over here and create an MPIN. Once you enter the MPIN, select next option. Again, you need to re-enter the new MPIN which you have created. And once you re-enter it, just select next option. Now it is uh, showing me an option to enable face ID or touch ID. In your case, if you're using an Android phone, it might ask you uh, the same thing. So yeah, if you want to do it now, you can select enable. Uh, if you want to do it later, select do it later option. Now to complete the process, it is asking me to enter the PAN number. So enter the PAN number and then select next option. So I have entered the PAN number. Let's select next option. Now again, uh, we need to complete the registration process this time. You can see we have got a registration option. Now over here, either you can choose via Aadhaar card, via debit card or via credit card. Whichever option is easier for you, you can choose that. Over here, I'm going to select Aadhaar card option and on the next page, it will ask me to enter Aadhaar card number. So let's enter the number and then select next option. So I have entered the Aadhaar number over here. Let's select next option. Now you will receive an OTP uh, on your linked mobile number. So enter the OTP over here and again select next option. I have entered the OTP, selecting next option. Now you can see authentication is successful. Tap on OK and again try to open Indus and India application. Now once you enter your new MPIN, uh, application will be started. Now you can see on the home page itself at the top, you can check out your account number. You do have an option to check out balance. You can check out card details. And now compared to Indus mobile application, uh, interface of India application is different and I think it looks good. So yeah. Uh, if you are still using Indus mobile application, then start using Indus and Indie app because Indus mobile application will no longer available after 31st of March. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.